That guy needs some Prozac. I wonder what he's looking for. Oh, Mr. Buzz, I'm so sorry. What a klutz I am. It is quite all right. I was not paying attention. I... Oh, no, it, it's my fault entirely. I was worrying about something else and not watching at all. And Lady Howard, is she recovering? Yes, she's resting quietly. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. Good day, Miss Styles. Good day, Mr. Buzz. I'll go get the Harley. Still, stopped in the middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell.
Looks like we got us another treasure hunter. Hi, Estelle. Everything okay? Did you follow me here, Mr. Knight? Me? Uh-huh. I just stopped to see if you needed help. I do not need help, but thank you for your concern. Don't mention it. So, uh, how come Lady Howard's not with you? Kind of joined at the hip, ain't you? She's had a very difficult morning. I would have stayed with her, but uh, time is of the essence. How did you meet Lady Howard, anyway? Her family was the largest landholders in my village. I knew her growing up, of course, but we never played together. She made quite a name for herself on the stage, you know, when she was younger. Huh. And I was working in London myself as a nurse. I went to see her perform. Well, we became uh, friends. When my father died and left me the cottage, we moved back to Hampstead. It's not exactly the manor she was born to, but it was sold years ago. Ironically, it's on the market again. Does Lady Howard still perform? Well, she's taking a break from her career. So, what's out here? You can see for yourself. Doesn't look like anything to me. But then you wouldn't be here if that was the case now, would you? Some people don't care to tell other people their business. Oh, that's kind of rude, isn't it? It was a perfectly friendly question. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just that Lily really prefers we keep our business to ourselves. Some people can be ruthless, you know, particularly... Men? Well, now that you've said so yourself. So this is the spot you and Lady Howard are betting your treasure hunting dollars on, huh? Really? I wish you wouldn't ask such things. Hey, just curious. I don't believe in the treasure myself. All that stuff about ciphers and nonsense. Sonier didn't conjure that money. Well, I'm not saying he didn't find something, but what if he took all there was? I don't believe it. There's got to be something here and we... And we've got to find it? <laughs> Why is that, Miss Styles? It's none of your business. I'm sorry, but, but that's all I'm going to say about it. Stuart Residence. Mesme, this is Gabriel Knight. Hold on, please. It's him. Mr. Knight? Hello, Prince James. I I'm afraid I have some pretty bad news. Uh, sir, your men were found dead this morning. I see. Yes. It's horrifying news. <laughs> I can tell you everything I know about it. Please, do. Well, they left here last night about... Drained into the ground, we found two pools. It... 
Well, hell, it looked ritualistic to me. Lord, I just don't understand. Nor do I. But the killing still revolved around blood. I think that... Mesme and I were just discussing this. You see, I have certain affairs which you know nothing about, and I'm not inclined to involve an outsider. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that picture. But if I'm to... That's why I sent my own men down there. Now this. Frankly, I, I, I don't know what to do. Son's life, my... My son's life means everything to me. I know. And Mesme thinks you'll be able to do some good. So I'll ask you to keep your eyes open, at, at least until further notice. But that does not mean intruding on. Please, just try to stay focused on finding the child. Uh, sir, I'd be a lot more successful if you told me everything. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. You'll hear from us soon. God. I know it's difficult, but come back from the light, Gracie. Come back, come back. All right, all right. I was almost done anyway. So what's it? Hey, kids. God. What? You guys weren't about to discuss the case, were you? Oh, go on, Grace. Tell us about the book. Okay, okay, check this out. Talk about wild. It ties together Freemasonry, the Templars, this group called the Priory of Sion, and like this bizarro theory about the Holy Grail. Well, what do you want to hear about first? What's this got to do with the Templars and the Freemasons? Okay, according to the book, the Templars were the founders of Scottish Rite Freemasonry, and when they were persecuted, some of them fled to Scotland and changed their name. What's that got to do with Ren Le Chateau? Only that whatever is going on here, the Freemasons are obviously still involved. Some secret knowledge must have been passed down through the organization. Hmm. So, what's this Grail theory you mentioned? Okay, now, the Grail. <laughs> are you ready for this? Go on. The Grail is supposed to be a vessel, right? Like a cup, and it contains the blood of Jesus. Yeah, go on. The book suggests that the Grail is an allegory for an esoteric secret, a secret so heretical that it had to go underground throughout the Middle Ages. It was passed along as the legend of the Grail. And that secret is? That Jesus had descendants. The Grail itself is an allegory of the womb of Mary Magdalene. Okay, okay. In other words, her womb, right, the cup, contained his blood, or rather bloodline. His heirs. Get out of town. Kinky. Is anyone actually buying this stuff about Jesus having descendants? Sounds pretty Looney Tunes to me. Whether it's true or not is not the point. The point is these secret societies believe it in a big way. Okay, look, Mary Magdalene came here, right? After the crucifixion? That's what they say. Okay, so she brings the kids or maybe she's pregnant. Her descendants intermarry with local nobility and become the Merovingian dynasty. The Merovingians are supposed to be descendants of Jesus? Yes, and the Catholic Pope betrayed and murdered them, but some of their line survived. You're losing me. Sorry, Mose, I'm on a roll. Okay, so the Merovingian survivors hid in this region and had backers here. 
Well, it could explain why so many heretics kept cropping up in the Long Dock, like the Cathars and the Templars, and Rome kept trying to wipe them out to bury the secret of the bloodline. Gee, those wacky popes, you just can't trust them. Maybe it's those funny hats, you know, all that weight up there on their head. Fine. I'll shut up now. What's this got to do with the Templars and the Freemasons and Priory of Sion again? They're all supporters of the bloodline, dedicated to getting the bloodline back on the throne. The Templars were probably founded to find proof of the bloodline's genealogy. That's why they were excavating under the Temple of Solomon. And the Crusades would have been the perfect cover. Proof? Like what? A 2,000-year-old birth certificate with the father listed as the son of God? Jesus was of the royal house of David, and if he had children, it would have been in the temple records. If the Priory and the Templars were both supporters of the bloodline, then how come they split up? I don't know. Maybe they had a falling out. Like Martin Luther and the Catholics. Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel. The professor and Mr. Howell. Don't start. I'm not sure I want to know, but who or what is the Priory? The Priory of Sion is an offshoot of the Templars. See, they split off before the Templar persecution, way back in 1188. The Priory returned to France from the Holy Land and set up a bunch of monasteries here. What's that got to do with now? Well, the Priory still exists, and they seem to have some kind of major agenda going on with Rennes le Chateau. Here's a random thought. That whole argument between Prince James's men and the Abbe? If the men were Freemasons, could the Abbe be Priory? Mm, maybe. But I was thinking that Montreux might be Priory. Montreux? Yeah, he's the owner of the local winery, Chateau de Serres. There was just something weird about that place. Hmm, I'll have to check it out. Besides, if the Priory and the Freemasons are both supporters of the bloodline, why would they be ripping each other's throats out? I don't think they're that friendly, Mose. They may have started out in bed together, but that doesn't mean they always agree. Oh, kind of like the U.S. and England. Reagan and Bush. Hardcastle and McCormick. Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> a riot already. So what's the Priory's agenda in Rennes le Chateau? I'm not sure exactly. But whatever it is, it probably has something to do with the bloodline. How does this relate to the treasure? The authors think Sonier found the Templar treasure all right, but it wasn't gold. It was ancient genealogy charts from the Temple of Solomon, which Sonier then used to, get this, blackmail the Catholic Church. Or maybe he sold the documents to people like the Priory or the Masons. Well, it's a theory. Was there anything else I should know about the book? Oh, mm, maybe just one small thing. Listen. Many of the prominent families in Europe today claim Merovingian descent, including the Habsburg Lorraines, Wittelsbachs, Plantards, and Montesquieu's in France, the Sinclair family in Britain, and the Stuarts of Scotland. The Stuarts? Prince James is a bloodline descendant? Holy genealogies, Batman. Whoa, it does kind of change the whole picture, doesn't it? I really need to go. You catching a train? No, I just, uh... I still want to read a bit more. So let's meet back here at five, shall we? Sure. See ya. There's something up with him. Hmm. Go figure. <laughs>